Hello friends, Jermaine here and welcome to this video. We're going to be learning how to connect to the Google Cloud um, platform, in particular Google Storage. We're going to be building an image upload app and this is what the app looks like. We got a simple material app and right now it says no image selected. So I'll press the icon at the bottom right to take a photo and I'll take it off myself. I'll accept that picture. And then once the photo is taken, we see a button appear at the bottom saying save to cloud. So I'll go ahead and press that. And once that is successful, we get a green tick. So now when I come to my bucket and then I select what's uploaded, we get that. Okay, so I'm not going to waste your time any further. Let's get into it. Before we get to doing coding, I want to take us through setting up a Google Cloud project because that's the only way we can create a bucket and be able to connect to it. I've already got a project created here already, but I can go ahead and create another one by clicking on the project. You click on new project. Well, let's just call it image upload Google storage. Um, I'm not going to specify any organization. I'll just create. And at some point you get this notification that the project has been created. So I'll just click to view. Alternatively, you can click here and then select your project. I'll click and expand the navigation. You come to the storage menu and just click that. What we need to do is to create a bucket that we'll be uploading our images to. You can think of a bucket the same way you think of a folder. So let's create a bucket and then I will call it. Okay, let's say my bucket and we'll put today's date. Let's continue the location type. I'll set it to region. Let's click continue. I'll just keep it to standard and I'll select uniform and hit continue. And I'll just leave everything as is and hit create. So now we've got our bucket created and ready to go over here in the code base. I've got a flutter project set up with these dependencies. So we need these two in order to connect to our bucket and upload our image. We need this package to work with our camera and then we need this package to set the correct content type during the upload operation. We'll come to our main.dart and over here is just the default sample code that gets generated. I'm gonna get rid of all these comments. I got this app running on my phone so I'll pull that up over here. Let's hide the debug mode banner. We'll set the title to that. And then I'll come down over here and we'll replace this column widget with a simple text widget that says no image selected. We'll change this floating action buttons to tip to say select image. And then the icon we're going to use is the add a photo. And then on pressed, we'll invoke a method called get image. Like so, I'll get rid of this counter and I'll get rid of that. Okay, so in here we're going to launch the camera and then we'll take a picture and then from that picture we'll handle the image somehow. Okay, let me start by importing some libraries we're going to be working with. So we'll import two of the base dart libraries and then also we are going to import the Flutter services as well as our image picker package. I'll go ahead and create two state properties. So one is our image and then the next one is our image byte array. So from that, we will create a variable and let's mark this method with the async keyword. Oh, and we need to also create a image picker object. Then from that, we'll invoke get image and then our source of that image will be image source.camera. So once we've got that image, we are able to print this out. So this gives us a picked file object and this picked file contains certain details like the path, and I'll open the debug console. Let's clear this out. So if I launch my camera and let's just take a picture of this light and I'll accept that we get this path. So we've taken a photo and then the photo has been saved to this location on my device. So what we need to do with this is we'll trigger set state and in here we'll do if picked file is not equal to null. So that means we've got a result. In fact, we can test this. If I, if I take another photo and let's say we undo that and we go back, we get an exception. The getter path was called on null, which is because picked file returns null. 
and I'm just going to continue. So what we want to do is move this in here. We want to create our image. We're going to create a file object with the picked file path. And also we'll create our image bytes from that. So we'll do image dot readers bytes sync. And we'll just have an else block. And for now, we'll just print out no image selected. So coming back to our UI, we want to adjust this bit to display the image that we captured. I have a condition that checks that our image bytes is null. In that case, we'll display this text widget or else we'll create a stack. And then in this stack, our first child will be image.memory and that will take in our image bytes. So I'll save that. So let's go ahead and test this out. I'll take a picture of myself. I'll accept that and then there we go. Next, let's go ahead and display the button that will trigger the upload process. So I'll create an align widget and for the child, we want a flat button. The child of this button will be a text widget that says save to cloud. Okay, that gave us that one there. And let's set the alignment to bottom center. We'll give the button a color and I'll set the text color to white. So when we click on this flat button, we'll invoke a method called save image. And let's go ahead and create this method now. And in here will be the logic to upload to Google Cloud. Next, we need to create a service account. And a service account is an account that will allow us to access any of the Google Cloud Platform service. Essentially, a special user will be using to access this bucket and upload our images. So I'm going to open the navigation menu and I'll come down to I am an admin and I will go down to the service accounts sub menu, click on that. And then over here, I'm going to go ahead and create a service account, the service account name, image, upload user, and then I'll hit create. And the second step, what we'll do is we'll select a role and then we'll scroll down to cloud storage. And then what we want is to make this a storage object admin. And once I've selected that, I'm just going to continue. Um, I'll just ignore this for now and hit done. Once we're done, we've got this new entry now and I'm going to go to actions and I'll click create key. And then in this dialog box, we'll select JSON. So this is a private key and a private key is a JSON file that contains some fields we'll be using to connect to our cloud storage account. So for now, I'll just select JSON as the default and I'll hit create. That gets downloaded to our computer, which brings us to the second part, the logic that connects to our Google Cloud API. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file on the lib. I'll call it api.dart. I'll go ahead and import the dependencies we're going to need. Create my API class. I'll just call it cloud API. Create two fields. So credentials is an object that will consume the JSON file that we downloaded earlier on. And then client is a HTTP client we'll be using to make a call to the Google Cloud platform. I'll create a constructor which will accept our JSON credentials and then I'll initialize credentials. From that, we only need to create one more method, which is called save. And we'll take in a name, as in a file name, and our image byte list. Okay, so there are three steps we need to follow. So first step is we need to instantiate our client. We'll pass in our credentials and we need to pass in a set of scopes. So I guess it's to do with what you're able to access on cloud storage. So secondly, we need to create a storage object. This will take in the client and then the project we're trying to connect to. And we called the project image upload Google storage. And then once we've created our storage object, we need to connect to our bucket by doing storage.bucket and then the name of our bucket, which we called that. So I'll just copy this name and then I'll paste that in here. And then from that, we can just go ahead and save it by invoking the write bytes method. So this will take in our name that we're going to pass in and then the image bytes. So I'll save this and then let's come back to our main.dart. We'll import api.dart. Once that is imported, let's also import our credentials. JSON, I'll create a new folder and then I'll pull in the credentials that I downloaded. Okay, so this is it here. Um, let's just rename this 
to credentials.json. I'll come to our pubspec.yaml file and then under Flutter, we need to define an asset ski and we'll just point to our credentials.json file as an asset. So once you're done, run Flutter pub get to update this assets registry so Flutter knows about it. I also go ahead and add credentials to my git ignore file because I don't want this to be persisted to source control. We need to load in the credentials and pass that to our cloud API service. And our homepage states uh, create a handle for our cloud API. And then let's override the inner state lifecycle method. And in here, we'll use the root bundle service and we want to load our credentials.json file. And then once we've loaded that, we will instantiate our API and pass that JSON in. So once we've done that, it means that our service account credentials is now instantiated from the JSON in here. And we are now able to make a call to our cloud API. So let's come back to our save image method and then I'll mark this as a sync and then we'll invoke the save method on our API. Let's just pass in a name called test for now and then we'll pass in our image bytes. If that is successful, let's just print out our response information and let's just print out the download link from that. So I'll save that. And then because we need to do this bit, I'm going to do a hot restart so that our credentials get loaded in. Let's test this out. I'll take a photo. Okay, that's a blurry one, but I don't care. Okay, and then I'll hit save to cloud. Then after a couple of moments, Okay, so we got an exception. Okay, I resumed it and um, yeah, it looks like we are getting a download URL. So it may have been uploaded. Let me check. So we've actually got a response here. So if I hit test, we get the URL here. But then what I want to do is to edit the metadata for this because by default, the content type is set as an octet stream, but I believe it should be image slash PNG. So if I save this, we can preview it and that gives us that. Okay, before we test it again, let's come to our API and we're going to be using the MIME package we installed earlier to set the correct content type for it. So I'll just create a variable called type and I'll invoke lookup MIME type and then we'll pass the name of the file in here like so. And then as part of write bytes, we'll define a metadata named argument, which takes in an object metadata instance. We'll set the content type to the type we got, and we should be good with that. And then in order to correctly process the content type, I'm going to go ahead and take another photo. As we can see from the file path that we printed out here, we've got the name of the file as well as the file extension. So if, in order for this function to give us the correct MIME type, we need to pass this in, including the file extension, because that's how it's able to work it out. So back onto main.dart, I'll create a property here called image name. And then in here, we'll set the image name and we'll base that on the image path. We'll split it via the forward slash because it's got all these forward slashes and then we want the last item. So we'll split it into a list containing the different path segments and we want the very last, which is the file name including the extension. So once we've got the image name, we can pass that in here and we should be good. So let me test this again. I'll do a hot restart. Let's take a photo of me this time. I'll accept it and then um, I'll save to cloud. Okay, so it's been successfully uploaded. Let's go and check. I'll refresh this page. And then now we got that here. So if I select that, then this is what we uploaded. Okay, we see that the type is set correctly. Also, when we go to edit metadata, we can set also this metadata as well when sending across, or we can set some custom metadata in our api.dart after content type, we'll set the custom named argument and that takes in a map. And for now, let's just send in a timestamp and I'll just create this timestamp here. 
and I'll just place this timestamp over here. Okay, let me do a hot restart and take a photo. And I'll hit save. We see our custom metadata has been added here. The last thing I want to do is to is to display the check mark when it's uploaded. So I'll create two state properties. One is this uploaded and the second one is a loading state. And then going down to the build function, I want to add a condition that if it's loading, I'll render a center widget with a circular progress indicator. Then also we want to check that if we've successfully uploaded, we will render another center widget with a circle avatar. We'll give it a radius and background color. We'll give it an icon as a child. And then we want the check icon. I'll set a color and a size. And then to set these options to true, I'll come over here in our save image method. We'll trigger a set state and we'll set loading to true. After we've uploaded to the cloud, we'll set loading to false. And then we'll set it's uploaded to true. Also, we want to reset it's uploaded when we take another photo. So we'll reset that to false in here. So I'll go ahead and do a hot restart. I'll take another photo. I'll accept it and let's hit save. Okay, we see the spinning indicator. All right, and now we've successfully uploaded this image. So let's check, let's preview it. And there we go. And the last thing I'm just gonna do is come down here and change this condition slightly so if it's uploaded i want to show this or else let's go ahead and show the save button so if i save this yeah should look like that which means that we can go ahead and take another photo we do this and then if i select that yeah that now reverts to this and let's try and upload okay and in fact, if we try to access this download URL in the browser, it gives us that anonymous caller does not have storage objects get access because the permissions does not allow public access to these images. If for some reason you need to, you can go to permissions and then under permissions, you can add a permission here. You want to search for all users and you can give it a role as well so we'll say cloud storage and then we want the viewer so read access and then we can save that allow public access which now means that if we try to access this we are able to access it now because it's um, downloaded it to our machine so let's open this and then we have that all right so this brings me to the end of this mini course if you enjoyed it smash that like button and also share this video if you are not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon next to the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future tutorials demonstrating how you can build full stack applications with Dart and Flutter. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. I do take a look and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.